Hello everyone, my name is Halimar Rathlorn, director of your beloved Halimar Rathlorn Studios, and the leader of the Thought Train on Discord. You should really check that out if you haven't already. Link's in the description. Basically, uh, if you couldn't read by the title or by the thumbnail, there ha there's a very dangerous person in the, uh, the Snowpiercer community. Uh... Pardon me for all these stutterings and pauses. I don't think I'll be editing this video. Um, but yeah, about... Yeah, it would have been on New Year's Day of 2023, this year, that uh, one of my close uh, confidants and friends on Discord uh, named Greenstar Melodyne, General Greenstar Melodyne, he brought it to my attention that another friend of mine, former friend of mine, had uh, basically started digging around in my uh, public profiles. Uh, pr well, public as in anyone could see it, but private as in had real life information in it. My face, my real name, the cities I lived in, my family members, all that stuff on Facebook. Now, of course, how did I ever come to find out about this? Well, it basically come, came down to the fact that uh, that former friend of mine decided to share that information with other people. How many people he shared it with, I will never know. But uh, Alexi, as he is known as in the Snowpiercer community, had decided to share that information with Greenstar and a few of his friends. Now, Greenstar commendable as he is, uh, pretty much notified me immediately when I was sleeping, and when I woke up, I was just really afraid for a little bit, I think, but then after that, I just got really, really pissed, and uh, I'm not really going to go through the whole story of the war itself, the quote-unquote war, I guess you could say, the whole conflict. I had reported them to Discord, and nothing really happened, and I just took matters into my own hands, pretty much, and really just turned our whole community, the bigger bulk of our community on Discord, of the Snowpiercer community on Discord, pretty much against Alexi. His name has pretty much been ruined on Discord, aside from his very close-knit allies. And uh, so after that whole process went down, I and my allies, the people who were like, this is fucking bullshit, you can't just share people's, you know, private information and shit like that. No, that's just, it's incredibly fucked up. And I mean, even, even to this day, Alexi tries to uh, justify it and uh, say that he understands why I reacted the way I did. But honestly, I just don't really want much to do with him. And uh, that's what a lot of people thought. After the whole conflict was finished, and after we had gotten the word out again against him and everyone like that, we pretty much came to an agreement. Alexei, I, and my allies, my uh, almost friends, I guess you can even call them, we all sat down and basically had an agreement that Alexei would not really be a part of the Snowpiercer community anymore. In a lot of the mainstream communities, he has been pretty much banned or blacklisted, yada, yada, yada. And in my community and such, I have a very stringent policy of making sure that none of his alts get through. Because uh, I had trusted him quite a bit, and I I'd, had been pretty casual with him. One could argue that it was all my fault and that I shouldn't have trusted someone online like that. And a part of that would probably be true. But at the same time, you don't really blame someone for a discretion that another person committed. As exposed as I was, and as casual as I was, and as undiscreet as I was, it was still ultimately Alexi's decision to go looking for, you know, other stuff about me that was not something that I made public. And it was certainly Alexi's choice to share it with people. There is no real way around that. It, he he often claimed ha, he goes back and forth on this, but he often claims that he accidentally stumbled upon it, and I mean, that much I could I could believe I could try to believe if he hadn't been you know searching for it, 
if he hadn't told us that he had been searching on the internet for it. But what makes it really unbelievable is that he still showed it to people. You don't accidentally show that stuff to people. And I basically just wanted to have nothing more to do with him. And he is often pretty immature, uh, to be honest. Uh, he, he sees everything as a big scheme. His Discord servers are structured like governments. And I mean, as a hobby, that's fine, but he just takes it way too seriously. And I mean, I could go along with it for a while because I played video games a lot with him. I talked to him a lot. We shared culture with each other since he's from the United Kingdom and I'm from the United States. It was a very good, uh, cohesive relationship, friendship. And I didn't even think I would really ever call it that until it was already gone. And so I just wanted to put up as many walls as possible and just not have anything to do with it. And a part of that agreement was to, you know, keep the truth open. But as a concession for him, I would not bring this up on my YouTube channel because as much influence as I have on Discord, as many people as I know on Discord, my YouTube channel is where a lot of my influence comes from. And uh, I basically agreed that I wouldn't bring it up on my YouTube channel if he didn't pull any stuff. Now, this video, this voice recording, is being recorded preemptively. Alexei has not violated any terms of the agreement. Now, if you want proof for this stuff, if you want proof for the doxing, if you want proof for the agreement, what was in the agreement, all that stuff, I will link uh, in the description to a file which contains I think hundreds of screenshots of conversations about this uh, hundreds of screenshots of arguments of discussion about what should be done what shouldn't be done of him agreeing to the agreement of us uh, tailoring the agree agreement yada 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 basically pretty much anything you could possibly want even mild proof of the doxing I censored out uh, my name in most of them, but the one with my actual face will be there, so if you want a uh, discount face reveal, I guess that's how you can get it. All of that's going to be down there. But if this video is being posted, it is most likely because Alexi did some sort of act of aggression. He raided my server, or he doxed me again, or whatever. Whatever he did to violate the agreement that had us you know, let's just keep each other at arm's length and never really discuss each other again. You're you're not allowed in the mainstream Snowpiercer community. People aren't really going to accept you anymore. It just don't do anything stupid and don't just just don't be a a child, I guess. And I mean, a lot of the agreement is just based on what other people agree on, and it's not really anything I have power over, like the, the community-wide blacklisting and stuff like that. Ultimately, there's nothing I can really do to reverse a lot of the agreement stuff, because I just I don't control most of the community. I'm just fortunate enough that the community is surprisingly a lot more supportive than I would have ever initially imagined. But yeah, uh, for whatever reason, he has violated the agreement... And this video is to be posted up. So, uh, I would not involve yourself with Alexi. He's a very immature person. He's just... He's a schemer. He takes things way too seriously. And for the things that are supposed to be serious, like people's private information, their own personal lives, that actually serious stuff, he just doesn't take it seriously. And for someone he regarded as someone who's pleasant to be around, someone who's like a friend to him. If this is how he treats his friends, then I wouldn't even want to be an acquaintance to him because just imagine how horribly is he he's going to treat you behind your back. I mean, as much as I keep tabs on him through my associates on Discord, I ultimately have no idea what he's up to. And for all I know, he could know exactly where I am right now. And that's something I tried to explain to him a lot is the fact that he dipped his hands in real life and he acts like I can't be sure he's not going to send a pipe bomb to my address. I can't be sure he's not going to stalk me or release my information to more people. I can't be sure of that. And that's something that I honestly 
have to live with and something that causes me quite a bit of anxiety. And the thing is, is that since he's he was able to find out so much as it was, there's no real reason to assume that he can't find out more. So I just, I wouldn't associate yourself with Alexi at all. He's, like I said, he's immature and he's going to dip his hands into things that you don't want his hands dipping into. So yeah, thank you so much for your attention. This has been 10 minutes already. Um, yeah, it, it's probably, I, a part of me thinks that I should have just posted this anyway and just let people know about this because he is a threat to the community, even though he is banned from a lot of it. But, you know, I guess I just, I wanted the conflict to be over and I wanted to be sure that he wasn't going to do anything else as sure as I can get when it comes to people on the internet. And so I guess this was just a concession that I made. But now that he's broken the agreement for whatever reason, the concession is over. So yeah, just stay away from Alexi. He's not someone you can trust. Excuse me. So uh, yeah, thank you for your attention. Hopefully I won't do too much uh, personal drama stuff like that. But this is just, this is a personal thing to me. And I feel like people just need to know about this now that I am officially sure that he cannot be trusted whatsoever, not even to, not even to lend his own word a few steps below the, the legal system, pretty much, because he basically signed the agreement and he made it very clear that he understood the agreement and yet he still broke it anyway. Um, a lot of people would tell me, well, that's what you get. And honestly, yeah, that is what I get for uh for trusting someone like this i'm honestly too forgiving a lot of the times but uh yeah don't make the same mistake i did don't think you can trust or treat with uh that mr alexi <laughs>